Greetings, and welcome back to the MCOC Encyclopedia. Has this ever happened to you? Doing your casual questing, go into a havoc fight, and then, bam! A chunk of your health decides to just disappear. Well, in this video, we'll be going over everything you need to know to deal with this guy and make sure your health never leaves you again. Havoc's description is long, really long, and finding out exactly what is causing the issue, how it works, and how to fix it, is really quite complicated. So let's start with what's going on. Over time, Havoc builds up plasma charges on himself. They are harmless, and they cap out at 10. When he would gain another one, however, it goes on to you instead as a plasma build-up. They are also normally harmless. The problem arises when you would gain your 11th build-up. At this point, all build-ups are removed, and you take a large burst of damage. There are several other ways that Havoc can gain plasma, both on himself and also placing it directly onto you. Striking Havoc with a critical hit, or an energy attack, will give him an additional charge. Ticks from energy damage over time sources, so shocks or plasmas, also count towards this, giving him a large number of charges very quickly. As we can see here, the plasmas on Havoc and myself go absolutely crazy once Nebula applies a large number of shocks. Because Havoc wasn't annoying enough, if you decide to bleed him, he will place plasmas directly onto you, regardless of the number of charges he has on himself. A common way to deal with champions that place a large number of debuffs on you are to use shrug-off champions like Kingpin, Crossbones, or Valkyrie. But against Havoc, this won't work. If you shrug off one of the plasma build-up debuffs on you, they will deal a significant chunk of damage, more than they would by themselves for simply detonating. So unfortunately, these champions are not our solution. So, how do we get around all this damage and complexity? Well, there is one line hidden in the middle of Havoc's description that's very easy to overlook, but can completely solve all of our issues. And it's this one. Champions with an armor up buff and Havoc receive no damage from this ability, and the ability in question is his plasma detonations. This is any champion. They don't have to be tech, they don't have to be special. In fact, you can simply use a node that provides an armor up buff to bypass this, like this one. Do note, though, that it has to be a buff. Passive armor-ups, like that gained by Iron Man Infinity War, do not count. It is that simple. As you can see here, I'm using Hulkbuster, and my shocks are making his charges go mad. But I have an armor-up buff, so the damage doesn't happen. A large number of tech champs have very easy access to permanent or long-lasting armor-up buffs. Guardian, Guillotine 2099, Hulkbuster... Nimrod, Ultron, War Machine, and Warlock are just to name a few. All really good options. Outside of the tech class, there are still good options, and some of the best would be Odin or Iceman. Iceman's initial cold snap will drive Havoc's charges mental, but his ice armor does count as an armor up buff for the purposes of dealing with that damage. Do be warned, don't throw your special too, as this will consume your armor up buff. Finally, there is Angela. Her armor up buff comes and goes, but it is very easy to maintain once you know her rotation. What makes her special though is she can parry non-contact attacks, meaning you can stun Havoc when he dashes in, which most champions cannot. The first big Havoc you're likely to come across is this one, just at the start of 1.6.1, on the road to Cavalier. Due to the gates in Act 6 requiring 5 or 6 stars, there is a chance you don't have an armor up champion for this. Luckily, there are still a few things we can do. The damage that comes from Havoc here is energy damage, so champions with high energy resistance will reduce this detonation damage. You can see here I'm using Yellow Jacket, who has very high energy resistance, and the damage is significantly less than it would be without. Wiccan does have the ability to regenerate energy damage on his special one, but all of his attacks deal energy damage, which will fuel Havoc, so this is not a recommended option. Being able to consistently power drain Havoc, you might also think could work, and there are good options here. OG Vision or Vision Age of Ultron are probably the top two. The issue with going down this road is many of the other power drainers don't fulfill many of the other criteria. There's magic, but she also inflicts power locks, which is going to fuel Havoc's charges. And many other power drainers inflict energy damage, 
Black Widow Clairvoyant, as you saw at the start, Doctor Doom, he also inflicts shock, and Sorcerer Supreme. There is a synergy that can be used with either of the Visions, or OG Iron Man, along with Captain America Infinity War, that drains all of an opponent's power after they use a special attack, if you're using a tech champion. This can help keep Havoc in check when using other tech champions, but is rather convoluted to pull off. This damage can also be reduced by Thing and his protection if you have an Awakened and preferably high sig Thing. In my personal testing, I found this isn't solely reliable, as the cooldown on his protection when throwing a Heavy is a lot longer than the time between detonations from Havoc, so not good to solely rely upon. Finally, any high regen champion or champions with lots of health can brute force their way through this fight, but not a great option. A few other things to note about Havoc then. Firstly, Havoc actually gains slightly less power, 25% to be precise, when he is struck, but does gain a very small trickle of power over time. Be careful if you are pushing him to higher power levels, that if he decides to turtle up and not throw anything or just sit there and hold block, that you may end up eating a special 3 from Havoc, simply from this passive power gain. And Havoc special 3s hit really, really hard. The second hit of Havoc's heavy attack does also inflict you with a feedback debuff. This deals damage to you over time, depending on the number of plasma buildups you have. A large number of plasma buildups, and this is going to really hurt. When Havoc throws a special attack, he will actually remove some of his own plasma charges and convert them into prowess. Maximum of 5 at a time. This will actually give you a short window where he needs to rebuild charges on himself before he can start rebuilding them on you. This works for the special 2, but the special 1 actually gives him an overcharge passive that gives him charges rapidly. He gains 9 charges at the cost of 5. If you know how to bait the right special attack from an opponent, you can actually use this baiting of a special 2 to keep Havoc under wraps. If, for some strange reason, you're using Cyclops on your questing team, he is a semi-viable Havoc counter for the simple reason that they don't do any special damage to each other. You can take a full Havoc Special 3 to the face, and with Cyclops you will take no damage. This does also count for Havoc's detonation damage. The only issue with this is your beam attacks will also deal no damage to Havoc. This will be a long fight, but it is doable. This is also an in-game easter egg, and is not documented in either champion's abilities. One last thing to watch out for is Havoc's signature ability. This is very simple, giving him a chance ranging from 25 to 55% to gain a second charge when he gains one from any source. This means you can still detonate when you're at nine build-ups and he gets lucky, so be careful there. So, Havoc. He builds up plasma on himself, up to 10, over time, or when he is crit or damaged with energy attacks. Additional charges after that are placed onto you, and once they reach 11, all are removed, and you take a large amount of damage. If you have an armor up buff on yourself, or you're playing Havoc, you will take no damage here. Please let me know below how your Havoc fights are going now, and which champion or node you would like me to cover next. I currently have Hulkling and Thing planned, but I'm happy to switch it up if needed. I hope you found this helpful, and I'll see you next time.